Hi there, welcome to another special edition of Hoo-Ha Sports today as we continue our coverage with the EPL Asia Tours and this time we welcome Liverpool FC to Malaysia. It's a very historic occasion for them because it's the first time they are here in Malaysia. A little bittersweet for the Reds fans because just as soon as Kenny Dalglish arrived in Malaysia, he packed up his suitcases and left back for the UK to sort out the contract with Stuart Downing. But they received a warm welcome at the National Stadium for the open training session. Here are some images of that. Well, you can watch the entire training session on a specially produced episode all on our website at hooha.my. Now, just like the Arsenal episode, the producers have asked me to answer a few questions regarding the Liverpool FC team, which we were there to cover the event. Well, I uh, have to say that they all seemed a little jaded but you know, pretty much well understood because they had a hectic three-day schedule in China. They left China at about 2.45 in the morning, arrived in Malaysia at about 4 in the morning, reached the hotel at about 5 something in the morning get, to receive at least about 500 fans out there, didn't get much sleep so pretty much understandable that the boys were still jet lagged. Well, clearly for, for Der Glish coming to Malaysia for the very first time, he received a really, really great support. The fans were, uh, you know, just in awe just to see him. Even when I took the microphone and said, you know, welcome the king, even before I could mention his name, they were all shouting and they already knew who was coming onto the pitch. Well, the boys trained. Kenny Daglish ran off halfway. Uh, I had fun with the other medias, especially for the guys from Indonesia, Thailand and, and even from China and other parts of the world. Other than that, nothing really but I think the fans had a good time because it's the first time that I've seen the Mexican wave at the National Stadium in Bukit Jalil. Yeah, it's like um, lightning striking twice. You know, I tried my hand at welcoming the rest of the fans from around the region during the Arsenal game and I did the same during the Liverpool match. Nope, the Malaysian fans still boot the guys from Singapore and Indonesia and uh, it's a lesson to me. It's a learning curve, you can say, that when I do the Chelsea training open session, I'm not going to welcome the rest of them from the other parts of the world. I'm just going to concentrate on the Chelsea fans from Malaysia. Well, it's hard to say what you can expect in the match because Kenny Dalglish is not there but of course uh, Steve Clark and Steve Keane will be there as the assistant coaches and of course under the watchful eyes of Phil Thompson and also Ian Rush who accompanied Liverpool on their Asia tour. Well, it's hard to say actually you know, whether Liverpool are going to be playing really well because they came up with a 4-3 win at China but uh, the Malaysian team, as I quote the uh, Malaysian national coach K. Rajagopala, he said their learning curve from the Arsenal game was the decision-making process in the final third. So the boys have to be a little bit more decisive and I think the Malaysian team can give the Liverpool a run for their money because don't forget they are jet lagged and they're just taking this as a training session. Liverpool might not lose it but it'll be close. And that's all we have for you this week at Hoo-Ha Sports today. And of course, to all the Liverpool fans heading to the National Stadium, please, if you're turning in anywhere, left, right or centre, please use your signal lights and be courteous on the road and have a good time at the stadium. And we'll catch up with you next week with probably more details on the Chelsea Asia Tour. Until then, have yourself a great sporting weekend.